The Grand Story Proverbs My son, take heed as I advise, for proverbs make the simple wise. The fear of God, the cornerstone on which to build your life and home. Acknowledge him in all your ways, set all your plans beneath his gaze. Bind loving kindness round your neck. Without it, life becomes a wreck. Speak the truth and do what's right. In the darkness, shine God's light. Let your mouth speak words of peace, and to the captives bring release. Do not let money be your guide. Do not let wealth inflame your pride. Avoid the mockers and their plots. Seek guidance from the Lord, not lots. Hold marriage as a sacred bond. In faithful love, keep feelings fond. Be ready in the face of death and praise the Lord with final breath. Ecclesiastes The preacher tried to find the point for life on earth can disappoint. Riches, pleasure, knowledge failed. The meaning of his life seemed veiled. For every action on the earth the time is set, which starts at birth, a time to plough, a time to sow, a time to reap, a time to grow, a time to laugh, a time to weep, a time to cast, a time to keep, a time to break, a time to build, a time to fast or to be filled. But what's the point? the preacher wailed. I really should have got this nailed before my eyes are old and dim, before decrepitude sets in, before my joints with age grow stiff, before my mind falls off a cliff. While you are young, remember him whose spirit gives you life within. Song of Songs Oh, who can sing the Song of Songs or understand where it belongs? The lovers meet in town and field. Their passion cannot be concealed. They hug and kiss with fond embrace. They hide and seek. They run and chase. Was this the love we had at first? Our innocence before the curse. Or does it tell us of God's love, of how he came from up above to rescue us from sin and shame, to hold us in his arms again? The love of God is pure and strong. He's made a place where we belong, a bridal chamber. He prepared, because for us he deeply cared. A wedding banquet now in view, and all creation made anew. With no more weeping, no more pain, no more sorrow, no more shame. For in God's presence we'll adore and worship Jesus evermore. Amen.